Moving on, let's talk about coal. For 100 years, America has had a love affair with coal. It was the fuel behind America's electricity. It powered steam trains across the continent. And it's been the only acceptable way for white people to do blackface. <laughs> now, now, even though there are only about 75,000 coal mining jobs left in America, many of them are concentrated in presidential swing states, which is why we heard so much about old King Coal on the campaign trail. We're going to save the coal industry. We're going to save that coal industry, believe me. And we're talking clean coal. Clean coal. Clean coal. We're going to put our miners back to work. For those miners, get ready, because you're going to be working your asses off. I like hard hats. Let's see if it's a hard hat. It's a hard hat. <laughs> you know, President Trump might destroy the world, but goddamn, he's cute. You can't deny that. <laughs> I mean, look at him, fake miming there. You know, it, you know this, this reminds me of last week when he got into that truck and pretended to drive. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, he looks like an extra from Mad Max. You realize that's all Trump ever wanted, was to play president. Now, we should have just given him a Fisher-Price president set, you know? <laughs> he would have had so much fun. He just would have been, would be like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Johnny? What are you doing over there? And he'd be like, I'm signing an executive order. Good job. And now what are you doing? I'm building a wall. Wow. And now what are you doing? I'm grabbing pussy. No, no, no. Bad touch. Bad touch, Trump. Bad touch. But as much as we laugh, as much as we laugh, <laughs> Trump knew that miming the coal, that's how you win the Electoral College. Because I don't know if you remember, but Hillary Clinton also got a chance to win over coal voters. But instead, she did this. I'm the only candidate which has a policy about how to bring economic opportunity using clean, renewable energy as the key into coal country. Because we're gonna put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. Right, Tim? <laughs> she didn't mime it, but she was also digging a hole. <laughs> in fact, you can see in that moment, she was thinking, ah, that reminds me, I gotta go buy hiking boots to go live in the forests. <laughs> so, Trump's message of not having said that really resonated with swing state voters, you know? And yesterday, as president, he repaid their faith in him. President Trump rolls back the Obama legacy of combating climate change. The president's executive order scraps six Obama-era actions aimed at tackling climate change and calls for reviewing the clean power plan put in place to restrict greenhouse gas emissions in power plants, scrapping regulations that make it tougher to mine coal on federal lands, and no longer forcing the government to consider the cost of climate change when making policy decisions. Wow, 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 wow. Everything of Obama must go! That's what this feels like, right? Feels like a White House yard sale. Everything of Obama's has to go. It's going, folks. Obama's basketball, it's going. Michelle's vegetables, going. Joe Biden, who was still there for some reason, going! But yes, Trump got rid of so many energy regulations. And I know what you're thinking. This is gonna be bad for the environment and the air quality, more carbon emissions. And you know what? You're right, you're right. But what you're not considering is that this is going to be great for the country. Uh, just not the country you're thinking of. The Trump administration's rollback of climate change opens a door for China. Tuesday's executive order gives Beijing an opportunity to become the global leader in environmental protection despite being one of the world's biggest polluters. China is funneling more than $260 billion into clean energy, far outstripping U.S. efforts. And they ship these wind turbines across the world. That's right. President Trump's deregulation is actually going to help China, or as he calls them, China. <laughs> now, whenever Trump opens a fortune cookie, it's just gonna say, thank you. <laughs> okay, but, 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 but look, but look, look, let's get back to what we're talking about. If it happens to help China or destroy the planet, that's beside the point. The point is what Trump talked about yesterday when he announced his plan at the White House. My action today is the latest in a series of steps to create American jobs and to grow American wealth. My administration is putting an end 
to the war on coal. The war on coal? How many wars is America fighting? There's a war on coal? <laughs> and, and if Trump was genuinely trying to keep hardworking Americans employed, I would understand that. You know, he made the promise. Uh, but it feels like he's just using these coal miners as political pawns. And the only reason I say that is because everyone seems to agree that coal jobs won't ever come back. Industry is moving on a long-term path away from coal. That's not going to stop. Automation and the availability of natural gas from hydraulic fracturing has made coal production less competitive. Some top coal executives warn jobs may not return. Robert Murray, who runs a big coal company, he's on record as saying what the president is trying to do for the coal mining industry, quote, can't bring mining jobs back. Yeah. I never thought I'd say this, but we should listen to the coal mining boss. <laughs> Deregulation isn't gonna help. Energy production has moved on. Coal jobs are like those dads who went out to get cigarettes. They're not coming back. <laughs> They're not coming back. Yeah, it doesn't matter how well you do in school. It doesn't matter what late night show you host. It doesn't matter if you buy the cigarette companies. I got the cigarettes right at home, dad. <laughs> Why won't you come back? <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Here's what makes this so infuriating. It's not that there's no jobs in energy. It's just that the jobs are not in coal. We don't use coal like we used to in this country. We use oil, number one, natural gas, number two. Coal is now number three. There's only 70,000 jobs actually linked to coal, more than 650,000 are now in renewable energy. We're talking about wind, solar, and of course, biofuels. Yeah, if Donald Trump was really trying to make America great again, he would be all about innovation and progress because moving the world forward is what America's always been about. Think about it. America went from candles to the light bulb, all right? America went from covered wagons to aeroplanes. Unemployed girls to Instagram models. <laughs> the point is progress. And now you want to go back to coal? Like, thank God John F. Kennedy didn't think like Trump. Can you imagine what that would have been like? Because instead of going to the moon, he would have gone, what, the Russians are going into space? Well, then I pledge that in this decade, we'll find a horse path to India. <laughs> Congratulations. You've been randomly selected as a winner of free Daily Show episodes. Yes, you. To claim your prize, just watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. What a winner you are. So much winning. <laughs>